time for another edition of Spangler Science. And Steve, this morning we're working with square bubbles. We're actually square? just washing dishes. So oh. I thought that I kind of oh, go through a little great. segment with washing dishes, a little uh, Dawn dish soap inside. So Thanks, here's what Steve. you're going to need. Uh, <laughs> uh, just a nice little bowl here, just clear so you can see it. But at home, just a bucket would be fine. And mm -hmm. then just the dish soap. So none of the antibacterial stuff. This is just the, the original stuff. So a little squirt inside there and you've got it. Okay. okay. Now you need a bubble blower. And so as a kid, if you ever had that one that you dipped and you blow like this and they're all over the place. Yeah. So what I want the viewers to try is this. These are little eyedroppers called pipettes and lots of teachers use them in class now. These little pipettes can get the end cut off. So you just cut off the end like this okay. and this makes the greatest bubble wand in the world. So watch, just dip it down inside like this and now you're going to learn the difference between blow and suck. All right, so you just blow and then right here. You see, not bad. You get this great bubble. See the bubble that's there? Yeah. Round because it's trying to, to hold the maximum volume of air and the least amount of bubble solution. And that's kind of the physics there of the bubble. So let's play with it a little bit with this. Okay. So I ran to the toy store and these are these are little struts and the little balls here called Zome. And it's this building thing. You know, it's like modern day Legos or whatever. You okay. Know what I mean? Pretty cheap, so, like three bucks. Yeah. It's, so I just kind of put them together like this to make a cube. So now watch what happens. This is the fun part. You drop it down inside the, the water. And now when you pull it up again, you get this beautiful soap film. Here, try it. Ready? Go ahead, drop down inside. You get this beautiful, and go ahead and pull back out. And then if you hold, right, there you go, that's oh, perfect. Cool. So see the little window that's there? Now uh -huh. if I rock it back and forth, you just change, see how you change the window? You oh, can change yeah. it this way, <laughs> isn't that fun? Or this way, you oh. got it? Uh, so, you know, now you oh, you have a tunnel, show the camera. Okay. Turn, it, turn it up so you can look actually through it. And you actually have a tunnel that's there, and it goes see. right through the middle, right there. That's a cool one. All right, yes. so, but I'm gonna make you destroy it, all right? So drop it in and I'm destroy like, it. it. Here's what I want you to do, okay? So here's what you're getting, no, you did a great job. See there, just keep it just like that and I'll show you what this is going to look like. Dip it down inside okay. and now watch. You take that circle bubble and you want to watch closely because this is when circle becomes square. Watch. Oh, here we go, bubble. And now you drop it in and watch what happens. There it is. Did you get it? Got it. Beautiful. That's when you're there. Bingo. And that is your square right there. Mom, look, the college paid off. Watch. Here we go. <laughs> Isn't that absolutely beautiful? So it's like that little TV cube that's sitting right there in the very middle. You are just now fancy. Look at you. You're just doing b multiple little bubbles that are there. It, it keeps kids busy for hours, so uh -huh. it's perfect for the babysitter. You just set the kids down, a little bit of squirt of soap, the square, and like four hours later, they're still having fun. And for a teacher teaching geometry, a lot of teachers are doing this now in the Denver area, incorporating bubbleology with math. Well, Steve, thank you and so I much. And put it all up on the website, okay? That's and you right. didn't scream and nothing exploded. I know. <laughs> okay, are well, you good? <laughs> we've got a calm experiment for us today, Steve. I always appreciate October's that. October's not as well.